Hi, it's me again. All right. So today in science, after we have finished up um, scientific no, uh, method, oh, I think I probably need to stop making videos today. We're going to change gears and we're going to talk about matter. So matter is something that you have, again, everything for the most part that you learn is something that we have just built on from other grade levels. And I know that matter is um, one that you have learned about before. And so we're going to talk about it today and to use matter because next week we're going to start talking about sound um, because sound uses matter. Okay, so we, I want you guys to have a little bit of idea of what matter is to refresh your brain to start talking about sound. Okay, so we're going to take some notes. So again, if I'm writing, then you need to write notes and put these in your binder in your science section. All right, so matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Everything around us is made up of matter. The air that we breathe, the water in my water bottle, um, my hand lotion, it has the matter, okay? So matter is, um, is what is in everything. And it's microscopic. We can't see it. Okay, so anything and everything. Why can't I leave my eyes off of things? That has mass has matter. So matter um, are like the small atoms, molecules inside of things. In the very beginning of matter, we just talk about that there are three types of matter, solid, um, liquid, and a gas. So the first thing we're going to talk about is solid. Okay. So a solid is something like um, my phone. Okay. It has a definite shape. It has a definite volume, and inside, the molecules are very, 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 very close together. All right? So a solid has definite shape. It has definite mass or volume. Let me change that to volume. Okay. And the molecules are very close together. So I like um, to think about the molecules in solid as they're just sort of vibrating. They're moving. All molecules are moving, but a, a solid molecule doesn't have anywhere to go because we know that in my phone, those molecules are, you know, by, they, they're not moving, but they're there and they're just vibrating just a little bit. Okay. So if I have an example of just a little snapshot of molecules. I need like, all right, so I have my molecules very close together. Okay, so you just want to draw your little circles of your molecules. 
right on top of each other, almost overlapping. So they are um, very tight in there and they vibrate. They have some type of movement. All right, liquid. Okay, so a liquid, it doesn't have a definite shape, but it has a definite volume. So, all right, I have a little bit of coffee left in there, which is very sad. All right, so for coffee in there, if I, it has the same volume, right? But if I poured it in here, it would have a different shape, right? Um, if I poured you know my water right here okay well just looking at the bottle well here I'll do it this way okay so it has definite volume it's the same amount of water but it's a different shape but if I put it upright same amount of volume but it's a different shape all right so water liquid does not have a definite shape but it does have a definite uh, volume. Okay. Molecules are a little further apart and move, vibrate more quickly. They vibrate faster. Okay, because they've got a little bit more freedom. So the molecules in here have a little bit more freedom to move than the, the ones in my phone. So if we had an example, um, we'll just use the box again. Okay. So they're going to be in there. They're just not as close, right? Because they have more freedom to move about the container. All right. And then if you're talking about gas, and that's the air, that's the oxygen, um, carbon dioxide, helium, those are all types of gases. And I want to point out, we're not talking about gas that you put in a car because that's a liquid. That's called gasoline. We just say gas for short. But that is a liquid, not a gas. Now, there's gas vapor that is um, a gas, but gasoline is a liquid. All right, so gas does not have a definite shape, does not have definite volume, and it's going to fill up any space that... Um, it can. So like in here, right? My water is right here. The rest of this is filled up with uh, air, ox or oxygen or gas. And as I drink it down, it's going to get different. So it doesn't have a different or it's going to have more space. It doesn't have a definite shape or volume. Okay, and it will
All right. Oops. And then the molecules move very far apart and very quickly. I don't want to have to use another page. So I'm just going to put the example right here. Ah. Okay, so they're going to be further apart. Okay. Because in here, they're, you know, just swimming around in that water, right? But then in the gas, they're even, even further apart. All right, so I don't want to put on a second page, but I guess I will. And I just want to say, we'll talk about matter again. I sort of just wanted to introduce it to you so that you would know that everything has matter. It's made up of molecules. The one thing, I guess I'll put this on the side so we don't have to do a second sheet of paper. I mean, you might have to, but I don't want to have to. Um, I am just going to do a second sheet. So adding or taking away heat is what changes one state of matter to the next. Okay, I was really concentrating. So adding or taking away heat changes matter from one phase of matter to the next. So what I'm talking about is think about water. Think about water as the liquid water, water as the solid ice or water as the gas. When you boil water, water vapor comes up. So water can go through all three phases of matter, but the, the way that it changes is by, um, heating up the water to turn it to water vapor and then cooling it back down to turning it back into water making it a solid by adding um adding cold temperatures freezing temperatures turns it into a 